Everybody want to go on? I saw our at the Right. Well, I can't. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay. Whoa, look what we got. Now, let's look at it. No, you want the first one. So we can't take it. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh, we skipped. Mm -hmm. That's right. Wait. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh. 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 Because the research tells us the sooner we get to the children, the sooner we provide them with positive uh, entries into learning, the greater are the chances of success as they move along the learning continuum. Mm -hmm. Yes! That's great. You saw it. Can I do one? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, plus work. Okay. Come look with me. What letter do you see? Great. Five, six, seven, eight. We got eight that time. Nine, ten. Let's count them again. Quite often we say to parents, we want you to help your child and get your child ready for school. But the next question that the parent asks of us, what is it that I should be doing? You do it. I don't know how to use the mouse. I think that when kids use technology, they get excited because generally it's fun. It's not boring, it's not dull, and, and it just stimulates them. Where do I put them? I put them in, give them to him? There you go. Okay. Good job. Thanks. What hmm? is it? Hey, wait a minute. Let's go. What's with this guy? I think technology provides another avenue for learning for children and it behooves us to find every avenue that we can. Technology is the way of, of life for the children with whom we work today. We live in a global society and our boys and girls need to know how to use technology in terms of their lives. So it provides another opportunity for learning. It provides a multimedia approach to learning and of course one of the most significant things Technology in education takes into account the learning needs and styles of all children. Okay. This one, Stay home and read about how A lot of kids, their attention span is very small, five to ten minutes in kindergarten, especially at the beginning. Um, my kids, you have to pull them off of there. They, they want to be on that computer. They, they want to finish their other work, and they want to be at centers to go to computer, and they want to be on that computer and play with it and use it. Greetings! You're right on time for one of my favorite stories. We'll see. And it's all about the letter M. How can you remember what an M looks like? Click on me to see what one M found out. It's the first time that I have seen a program that actually personalizes and targets a particular child's need. My personal tutor seems to be more interactive with the kids. The kids are, are very involved. There's it, it asks them to draw things on the screen. It asks them to, there's a, an activity where they write something on a piece of paper. It encourages them to sing along with the, you know, with the songs and with the words. It seems like it's not just push a button, this is what happened next. 
they have to be involved with what's going on on the screen. And that Do you see a shark? Came up. <gasps> shark. What is that? Who? That's a shark. Clark. Is she still skipping? Lark. No. You know, what is she doing? She's sitting to down, the right. To finish the fin lark. We're going to make a mistake yes. here. Okay. All right. Now. This is an apple. An apple is not Try clicking on the J. Yeah, we can. This is the letter X. Okay. 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 You have stop. Stop. Well. Overall, kids' software is about $175 million a year as a market, and skills software is the majority of that. We have developed the first software that actually works with the children in the same way that a good personal tutor would. It's able to keep track of their progress as they play, recognize when they need some help, and then bring them just the right help at the right time. We ask them what would be cooler, what would be more fun, how would you really like to play this game, what would be more helpful. We watch them get frustrated and then we watch them succeed. We work with their parents to make sure that we're really meeting the needs that those parents have and meeting the needs, the things that they value. And we work a lot with educators on instructional design and making sure that the methodology of how we're presenting concepts in the software is absolutely right. We believe that really good software over time will become more and more personalized, more and more tailored to the user. And Tutor Assist is an example of how we've taken that idea and applied it to kids learning helping kids learn better on the PC. Our business strategy really and our product development strategy is to find ways to make software easier to use, more relevant to people's lives, and a central part of how they work, how they learn, how they play. And our kids group is devoting all of our efforts right now to improving the My Personal Tutor system to make the next version of it even smarter, even better, even more relevant for kids.